Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. Now, you've seen by the title, this is another Mova Globe unboxing. Um, the thing is, I usually buy these for my partner, either on a birthday or on a Christmas. These are just the, the actual globes of the proper planets, maybe occasional moon or two. I'm not sure, sure how we'll go buying these over the years, but I've already wrapped this. So this, this has actually been filmed before Christmas 2020. So, um, yeah, let's get into this stuff here. I can rewrap later, not a problem at all. I'm sure she'll forgive me anyway. So, <laughs> there we go. Mother Globe. We have quite a few in the collection already. I think this is the last of the outer planets, apart from Pluto, which isn't, but it is, but I will get if ever I can find one, because it's not really very, not really very available in the UK. So, Box art on the Mother Globes. These ones, there's a lighter box instead of the darker blocks. I think that's the newer version. And as you can see, it's a small Uranus. Now, no comments in the comments about calling it that. It is not your... It is Uranus. Thank you. It was changed quite a long time ago. Now, grow up. <laughs> I'm only kidding, comment as much as you want. Use your manuals inside as usual, telling you don't put it in direct sunlight, don't drop it on the floor, don't do anything rude, and don't give it to children because they'll shake it crazily, like a baby will shake it. Right, inside we've got a stand, we will be needing... Oh, okay, that's that way around. I'm not a peel off because obviously it's a present for her anyway. So make sure you put the rounded end, the flat end, flat end goes in for your stand. Right again, there. Just a nice little three-piece clear stand. Comes out with a plastic, it's a plastic polystyrene, and I like this because polystyrene goes through me. As soon as it is definitely brand new, still bagged. Let's get rid of the box. Bring this back into view. And out she comes. See, the problem with my view, my recording, is I record from above. So this is the North Pole, unless it's on its axis, then it's actually the South Pole, then, yeah. You can always see on the Morvid Love, it's, it's, it's unavoidable, the, the join between. It's right on there. I'm sure I'm showing that properly. But there's also the fill hole as well, which I do recommend. Now, this is a top tip because my earth has leaked. This fill hole, make sure it's on the top. I know if you're looking and it's on a display cabinet and it's nice there, you'll see that and having it underneath is more preferable to see in the nice clear top. But if there's any problem with this, the oil will leak out of this. And I'm still investigating what exactly the oil is. It's some sort of vegetable based, possibly non toxic chemical, but Mova will not explain exactly what it is. So, as usual, over the lobe in the middle of the screen will nicely start turning around when it's got a little bit of charge from the light I've got above. These are absolutely brilliant. Uranus is a, is a really interesting gas giant planet. It's not comparable to Neptune because Neptune's a darker blue, it's the different gases. It's also, oh, it is moving, it's very slowly moving. I can see this part here going. It's a very large world compared to what we are. We are nothing, we are just a and nothing compared. We're probably about the size of that fill hole, to be honest, on this, if that. Well, yeah, these are absolutely brilliant. I love the way you can put this in your hand and you can go like that with it. So you're turning it around and it's just, it doesn't move. The gyroscope inside of here just keeps things upright. And the solar panel will get things charged. I can't show you anymore without de-rigging and getting on with a better video on the side of this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm re going to reset up, put the camera to the side, like I've done in the other videos. By the way, other videos are available on the channel. They've got Earth, Mars, Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. As I said, we're missing the two inner worlds. I'm not going to bother with, with, I think there's, there's one that's Titan, which looks like it's got all the lines on it, which to me doesn't look like it's the actual planet. It looks like they're, they're more high resolution scans. And then the rest of it is filled in by mist. I know the planet is covered in a gas and, and that is kind of 
it, it's that's the inner layer as well, the outer, but it just doesn't look good to me. It looks like it's kind of patched together and, and badly made. And obviously Pluto I need to get for this anyway. It's, it's quite a rare one, Pluto. I can't, like I said, we can't find it in this country. Quite weird. So, like I said, I'll get set up, put this, and then we'll have a better side view of Uranus. There we go, we can see it spinning there. There's lots of different cloud formations and a black spot there. Oh, okay. Because didn't um, Neptune have one of those? And all those, it's kind of um, Mulva Globe's signature, signature not to do a black spot on the bottom, just to make sure it's theirs. It, the problem with these is they do need natural light. You can see on here, well, I'm blocking it out now with my hand. There is a ring light, which is giving it as much light as I can. I have no natural light in this garage whatsoever. And obviously two strip lights as well to give me as much light in here as I possibly can. And there is a torch on top as well, giving it as much as I can possibly do, which is kind of working, but not. It is quite dark in here. If it was a, a more of a summer time, it would be a lot better. I'll be getting some sort of natural light in. I don't actually think heat is a, a factor as well, to be honest, because it is cold in here. But there you can see lots of... There are lots of belts. It's a very nice blue. I prefer the, the Neptune darker blue, but this is this is really quite nice. Got a lighter bands in the oh, upper half here as I made it stop. But it's kind of very cloudy, very blue and very cloudy. Very nice planet. Just majestically spinning. These, actually the Neptune, is, um, well, the kind of sister planets to each other anyway, but Uranus has actually got... The orbit shouldn't be this way. This is the problem with Mover Globe, is they can only spin in one direction, which is the way that the the Earth does, and every all the planets do, but this actually rotates almost on this axis here. So, But Mover could not do that, because a gyroscope will not be able to do that, because gyroscopes spin round, not up and down. I mean, sorry, laws of physics do apply in this in this case. And the only shame that you have with a lot of these mother loves is that band in the middle. There is a, a definitive white line there, which does show both between the top and the bottom hemispheres, and then the line in the dome itself, the clear dome, but for something like this, you, you you could not make this as a full one piece as it is. It has to be produced in halves to be anywhere near to do stuff like this. But this is the best we can get. Now this is obviously the four and a half inch model, which is really really nice. I do I do like this size. The bigger ones would be nice, but they're just far too expensive. Mover, if you're out there listening and watching this. Send us a discount code. Send us a, a a large model. I don't know. It'd be really nice to do that. There's my sales pitch over and done with. But yeah, they're absolutely. And we would we do love watching these when the sun's out, and these are in our display cabinets in our front room. The light kind of it does hit, but not much. But the amber ambient light of the of the rest of the room does turn all of these. If not, we have a dis glass display cabinet and we have a, a large LED light above the whole lot of it. And with all seven of them, they do all, well, with this one and coming soon anyway, these will all turn together with that light on at night time. But like I said, make sure the your fill hole is on top. You will not lose. Well, so far, we haven't. With the Earth one, we have got zero leakage, but quite a large amount of oil that's come out of it but I am planning on possibly doing a video to re repair that once I can figure out what the oil is if it's hydraulic oil fine if it's a vegetable oil no problem if it's an olive oil it just has to be some sort of clear clear liquid that will not react with the other liquid inside but Mother Globe themselves are very cagey with exactly what that is and I understand it it's, it's a trade secret they have said that there would would they do a 50% discount on a new Earth? But it's still a lot of money to fork out for one and you still have a an Earth that doesn't actually do anything. So watch this space for, for 
soon enough if I can actually get around to doing doing that and if, if my partner will actually let me drill holes in the um, plastic and potentially possibly destroy it but um, yeah they're really nice these lobes really nice and relaxing to watch and see these planets will we've only got, had pictures from from the Voyager probes which is what's amazing about it they're two very large planets Uranus and Neptune and there's only two probes ever been actually no I think Voyager 1 actually went at Saturn no Jupiter and Saturn are then off they didn't do these two did they it was only Voyager 2 so hmm very interesting but we've had we've known about these two planets for quite a while anyway so at least telescopes should be able to see them quite well now that's actually rotating rather well that I think it's warming up that's a lot better. I should have started filming now, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's give it a few more minutes of spinning. Then we'll put you back on the table. Yeah, it's really going well now. Let me see what happens if I turn the ring light off. This has gone a lot darker. Camera's adjusting. Still going okay. They've got the cloud belt at the bottom as well. That's quite interesting to see. Lots of different clouds on the bottom. And that black spot again. Still not sure exactly what that is. It's strange how there's parts in the centre where it's not properly joined together. I mean, it's not. It's, it's less than point zeros of a millimetre between the joins in the in the actual model itself. But the light in here reflects on where the join is you can see on the camera I mean there it is coming through now and they're not real um, yeah anything it's just the join it's a bit lighter in, on that side of the model so anyway stop it moving let's go back onto the desk and see if we can finish this video there we go back on the desk if you're interested in what I was actually using on the light then it's a um, USB charged quite a bright white LED light there which went straight on the top and it does give it enough power after a while to keep it going it's actually rotating now quite well but for filming purposes it's not that pretty looking at what you want to look at and it's um, a black torch over the top of it but yeah I mean these let me get in a little bit closer if we can see anything on there I'm going to have to rotate it for them it is actually rotating that's that ah that's actually the fill hole so make sure that is at the top so you don't lose any oil well, she's actually rotating on her own now you can see the edge there going around yeah i could watch these for hours oh actually we do we, they're always on and spinning around in the behind us anyway so yeah there's the mover globe uranus so if you want to buy one of these, go to mova.com, I think it is. There are certain dealers in different countries. I have a, there's a, a few on eBay. There's a few on all over the country. Well, in the UK at least anyway. Your own countries, please stick a search into Google. See what that comes up with. And yeah, there's no discount code. Sorry about that. But I'm not fully affiliated with Mova. I have had plenty of messages from Mova, which is really nice. They actually do talk to the customers quite a lot. Yeah, these are around about £150, but it's about €180, Euros, probably actually a bit more than that now. I got this for a little bit of a bargain. So, um, yeah, you be a bit cheeky with some people and they will actually say, yeah, no problem. So, with that in mind, thanks for watching. And I still do this um, silly, silly board, but it's what I've been doing for quite a while now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media. If you want to help out the channel anyway, if you want to donate something to the tech side or the Trek side, anything that you want to see, if anything you've got that you don't really want, you just want to just chuck at me and I can do a video on something, want to be a Patreon, help out. The links are in the description or the channel below. Other than that, I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.